We're going to Spain now, where a lack of rain in recent years meant the uh, northeast of the country is seeing its worst drought on record. This means a series of strict measures are being taken to try and protect the water supply. Guy Hedgeco reports from Catalonia. For half a century, the Sal Reservoir has supplied water to the people of Barcelona and the surrounding area. But in recent months, it has been depleted to less than a tenth of its capacity due to lack of rain. This church, totally submerged in times of abundant rainfall, has become a bleak symbol of the drought. Now the Sal Reservoir is being emptied altogether to prevent the remaining water from being contaminated by mud. Its fish are being caught so they don't rot in the water. So we are trying to transfer the water as soon as, I, as we can because the quality right now in winter was good, with the spring it will become really, really bad, and try to extract all the, and, um, all the fishes that we can find there. This area has not seen sustained rain for two and a half years. That's the longest drought here since records began in 1905. Local authorities have restricted the use of water for agriculture by 40%. This farmer, who produces artichokes and tomatoes, among other crops, warns that the lack of water is likely to push up the prices of these products in supermarkets across Europe. I am worried because farming is my job and if I don't have water I end up planting fewer crops. If we can't plant as many crops then this will mean there is less product for consumers. Barcelona, like many towns and cities across Catalonia, is seeing tight controls on water use for everything from car washing and gardening to street cleaning. Even ornamental fountains like this one have been switched off in recent weeks. Other parts of Europe have also been suffering a winter drought and experts warn that countries in the south are at particular risk as climate change takes effect. We have the Mediterranean area and we are expected that it's going to be a, a hot spot in the climate change crisis. As well as stretching water supplies, the dry conditions have other unwanted effects. A wave of wildfires in northern and eastern Spain has burned thousands of hectares of land. The summer is still a long way off, but Spain and some of its European neighbours are already feeling the heat. Guy Hedgeco, BBC News, northeastern Spain.